The UK is a naturally creative nation. Look at our film, our fashion, our music, our publishing, our architecture, our games, of course. And in the analog age, we could have an idea and execute on that idea and create content. But in the digital age, we have to have digital baking skills to be able to enable our creative skills to turn into products and services. I believe there is a skills gap in terms of digital creativity. For me, there's too much theory in the classroom. We're focused on knowledge rather than know-how. Now, I don't think for one second we shouldn't have knowledge in, in schools, but we should never, ever marginalise the arts because when you bring the arts and sciences together, you get that magic wonder and self-expression. Having worked for so many years in the video games industry, I was very aware of there was simply not enough computer programmers, not just for our industry, but for all creative and digital industries. We looked at every university in the country. Most of them were media studies courses, soft skills, and we needed programmers, arts and animators. So I went to Ed Vasey, the culture minister, who's been a great supporter of the game industry, and told him of our plight. And he tasked Alex Hope and I, the CEO of Double Negative, a visual effects company, to write the Next Gen Review with the help of Nesta. We managed to convince the government that the old ICT curriculum was irrelevant for the digital age, and they acted on our advice, and the new computing curriculum came into effect last September. And that could be transformational for this country. England is now the very first country that has uh, computing in the curriculum from primary and secondary school as mandatory. Not everyone's going to become a coder, but they have to understand how code works. So they have to become great problem solvers, great communicators. They have to be able to solve problems that, for jobs that don't yet exist, rather than keep training them for jobs that will no longer exist. I fully recognise that many ICT teachers who taught the old curriculum might not feel equipped to teach the new computing curriculum. But that shouldn't be a reason not to do it. It's essential that children do learn these skills. And whether they facilitate a joint learning experience where the teachers learn alongside the children, or they can do it themselves, if they want some best practice, they should go to Digital Schoolhouse and there they will learn the relevant skills that children have to have for a future if they consider themselves to be digital citizens. It gets children to actually learn by doing. It gives a hands-on experience, a practical application of the theory that they might learn in class. One of the things I think we can expect as a result of Digital Schoolhouse is turning children from being a job seeker into a job maker. So as long as they have the right digital making skills, no matter how disadvantaged a child is, there's no reason why they can't start their own business to become the real digital entrepreneurs of the future.